Hello and welcome back to Sport on 7 from the Squash World Series Finals. In this segment, we'll speak to the former UK and Commonwealth boxing champion, Roy Guns. After a successful career of registering 26 wins, the 61-year-old can still be found in the ring teaching boxing for fitness here in Dubai. I headed over to the warehouse gym to talk to him about his career while he tried to transform me into a boxer. One of the boxers to have changed the face of British boxing. It, was, it wasn't a very easy start for you during the early days, moving in from the migrant families from the Caribbean, and there was a bit of an issue with the cartels to, for you to be somebody as you aspired. Yeah, well, um, I think you know, I relied on my three Ps. I was persistent, I was positive, and um, you know, I, was just, I was just all over it. You know, I was really very, very focused that I wanted to be somebody. And uh, nothing could stop me, really. I achieved what I wanted to achieve out of the game. I didn't make a lot of money, but in those days, I mean, the guys with the so-called cartels, you know, they were fighting every month on prime time TV. Uh, prime locations and whatnot, and the only time I'd get a look in with those guys is um, a last-minute call. You know, when one of the uh, the the, uh, the main headliners, their opponents fell out, and um, I was calling the last minute. But you know, I was always in shape, and you know that was that's really the secret to my success. You know, um, I had my bags packed, my fighting bags packed all the time. So if I had like two hours to get to a fight. You know, which was like 100 kilometers, uh, 200 kilometers away. I didn't have to pack my bags. You know, I just grabbed my bags and hit the road. Well, chapter, you know. How easy was it to be dealing with such a situation where you're sort of a substitute to a certain degree, someone who'd fill in the fight, and if there was an opening, to really wanting to be somebody? So, in terms of how do you prepare and how do you deal with the sort of rejection, early slight rejection that you might have been facing? Well. I was once told by one of my trainers, he says, Roy, if you believed in yourself, you know, he says, if I really felt like fighting, nobody in the world could beat me. And, you know, I, I took notice of that one day and I said, hey, I'm going to give this thing a shot. I'm going to give it a year of my life, you know. And I did. I gave it a year of my life and it worked. And I went undefeated for that year and then four years followed that. So I was undefeated for five years. So it really did work. I think what motivated me is that they kept telling me, look, win the next one and I'll be on big money. And I kept winning and kept winning and kept winning. After five years, there was no big money, so I got fed up. <laughs> Plus, you know, I achieved my, my aim, goal and objective anyway, you know. That was it for me. So, I mean, translating it to normal work lives as well, people uh, you know, face these sort of difficulties that you did with five years of not making much money through, through boxing, five years of defeats pretty much. So how do you lift yourself and up your game and keep going at it, as you as you pointed out that you had, you were persistent towards your goals. Well, as I said, the three Ps, you know, and I've kind of latched onto those, you know, um, and I teach my kids that I train right now, you know, to be persistent, be positive, and to be passionate about what they do. And you know, those that's that's the secret. You know, you've got to be passionate, you've got to be positive, and you've got to be persistent. And those three things I, I was, you know, without getting any money. And just the inner, the inner urge, you know, the, 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 the inner drive just, just to be somebody. I grew up very poor, I mean, I don't really want to go into that, but in the old days, I mean, I'm, I'm 60 odd now, and when I came here, you know, it was, when I went to England, I must say, it was very tough, you know, for like immigrants uh, moving to England. But, uh, it was an, up, an opportunity for me to, to, to prove to myself that I am somebody. And that is why I've done it, you know, just to, for me, really. Right, so now moving on to your teaching elements, you are very keen on you know, coming back to Dubai. You've been teaching your kids as well in terms of the boxing side of things. You're in warehouse gym. Uh, so what drives you towards really teaching and translating and transferring your expertise onto the, the younger generation? and? Uh, for, for a person like my, myself who would be training in the pads with you? I've been thinking about this quite a bit now, you know. Um, I, read, I read something years ago and it, it, it said, um, there's nothing more imaginable than to be doing something you enjoy and to get paid for it. And that's what I do now, you know. I enjoy it. 
I don't look at the money side of it. I'm so accustomed to not earning any money, you know, like I do it because I'm passionate about it. And the money that I get from, from, from what I do now, it's in the form of the effort from my clients. You know, I bring, I get some people in the gym and, you know, they've got two left hands and two left feet. And, you know, the, when I see them progress, you know, it's very satisfying for me. It's like money for me. And I've got that money, not the bank. You know? Progress is is the key sort of motivating factor for, for, me, yeah. for, for you. Okay. So tell us about how this works and how can a person progress when they're training whilst boxing? It is it is um, it's difficult. It, it might look very difficult at the start, but in your opinion, it could be a very straightforward approach. I mean, firstly. You've got to want it, you know, you, um, you've got to need it, not want it. It's not the easiest sport in the world. And what I put people through, um, I do, uh, I put people through what every boxer goes through. We warm up, we shatter box, we skip, we punch the bag, we go on the pads. And for a lot of my clients, I put them on the treadmill first because boxing is like, uh, running, sorry, is like, um, the foundation of a building and I know they don't do running so I tend to always give them a five ten minutes on the treadmill and uh, from there on you know I kind of tailor a program to suit individual but based on the way a boxer would train. There's uh, plenty of positives to take back from Roy Gumps over here so now he's going to train me to look more like a boxer now so I think I'll be pretty ready for the challenge and you think, do you think you could transform me? Most definitely. I could make anyone look like a boxer, which you'll see today for yourself. Roy threw me into the ring and really put my fitness levels to the test as we worked on the pads to begin the session. While sharing his expertise and tips, Roy stated that an hour-long session can burn up to 2,000 calories. He added that body balance is the most important aspect of perfecting the technique. Balance is very important. You, know, you should always be have your body weight even between you know both legs at all times. If I take my weight too, too far back on my right foot, it really takes this hand out of play. And if it's too far forward here, I can hit you with this, but it takes this, my right hand out of play. So ideally, you should have it even between your left and the right. That way you've got both hands in play at all times. After getting the balance right, the next challenge is the controlled motion of the core for throwing accurate punches and getting into defensive positions. To avoid a punch, you've got to use this to slip a punch. There, to slip a punch. To roll under a punch, it's all around here. All around the core. Here, come back with a punch. Here, come back. Very, very important part of your body. Not only do you miss a punch, from your core but you throw punches if you can look and see this is what's doing the trick it's like very much like a golf swing ideally your weight should be as close to the center as possible that way you can throw any hand you want see I'm switching the weight now from left to right there left to right whereas as opposed to that you're going to be a lot slower because you're taking the weight too far from the center. There, there, there. As opposed to here, here, here. I'm shift. The faster you can do that, shift the weight from side to side, the faster you can throw your punches. Well, that's it for Sport on 7. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us, you can tweet us at City7TV using the hashtag Sport on 7 or write to us at sports at city7tv.com. And the entire team is goodbye for now.